the day before summer break for these elementary students. Most children would be excited to be out of school for the summer. These children are fortunate to have been in school at all. They are refugees of Syria's civil war. This is Mac William Bishop for the New York Times. International organizations say about half of the 6.8 million displaced persons from Syria's war are children. With the population struggling to stay alive, the education system has fallen apart. Volunteers like Danielle Batar have stepped in to fill the void. She is the principal of the Al Bashir School for Syrian Refugees in Antakya, Turkey. To retain a moderate secular curriculum, she refuses support from religious groups like the Muslim Brotherhood, instead relying on scarce donations from individual donors. She keeps her faith, but welcomes any student from Syria's medley of religions and ethnicities. Still, resources are scarce. Turkish authorities have closed the Al-Bashir school four times since it opened in January 2011, citing safety regulations and building codes. They would prefer refugees take advantage of official camps near the Syrian border. There, Turkey provides some aid and resources to the refugees allowed in. Half an hour drive away in Rehanli, Lemya Nahas runs a similar school with funding from Syrians in Canada. She showed us a stack of certificates from children who had completed enough of the school year to pass, but had been absent at the end of the year. A bombing in the town had exacerbated ethnic tensions and had driven many students away. For both principles, the fight for education depends largely on the activism of distant Syrian donors living abroad. Their schools hope to welcome new classes not only next fall, but for many years to come. Back at the Al Bashir school, students work to finish the term on the day before break. They are completing an unofficial program at an unofficial school. There's no guarantee that their accomplishments will be recognized later. As rebel groups fight for Syria's future, these educators worry that there's not enough attention on the generation that would inherit it. Ma Hada Red Dalena, Wella Hada Iulu Talim Hella Mawato, Hella Fishi Ahem. 